Hey guys, McMull2 here again. We're going to take a look next at CT-21-0408, aka Echo. He is a support class clone trooper. His abilities help heal your clone troopers as well as, well as give them turn meter boosts. His basic supporting fire, it deals physical damage and gives 20% turn meter to another ally with less than 50% turn meter. This is nice because it couples with his unique that is called follow up. When another ally uses a basic, Echo has a 30% chance to assist, dealing 40% less damage. It is doubled if the attacking ally is a clone. So if you have him in a full clone team, he's going to be throwing out a lot of attacks, which means he's going to be boosting a lot of turn meters, thanks to his supporting fire special. He also has EMP Grenade. This is a very, very interesting ability. Is deals special damage and dispels all positive status effects on the enemies. This is an AOE dis dispel that actually deals some really nice damage. If, if you have him modded like I do, he can do about 10k per hit with the EMP grenade. It's very nice damage. Only problem is it's a long cooldown. The Omega will knock it down to 5 turns. I haven't thrown an Omega on him yet because I'm saving those Omegas for the 5 Zeta later this week. And then his by the book. Clone allies recover 7% of their max health whenever they use a basic ability. This can't be used more than twice in one turn, and it's disabled if Echo is defeated. Now, any unique, most uniques basically go away when the character is defeated. They specifically stated here, just to let people know. That way you don't start doing your attacks when Echo is gone, thinking, hey, where's my healing? It's gone as soon as, El as, as, soon as Echo dies. Now, something else to note can turn can occur more than twice before the next turn. So that means Echo is not going to keep boosting his own health every time he assists a clone ally. But that's really nice because it helps tie in a lot with the 212th attack from Cody. So basically, everyone's getting a lot of health regeneration and protection rege regeneration with the Cody Zeta thanks to the 212th attack and thanks to Echo's power of by the book. Now, in terms of gear, he is he is intelligence based so he uses a lot of intelligence pieces which is nice because i'm sure you all have those mark IV stun guns you have a stockpile of them well good news he uses a lot of them so you will you will be using a lot of your mark IV stun guns to level him up especially at the early gear levels for gear six he requires four no sorry three of them alongside three Mark IV droid collars, so he uses up a lot of your uh, stockpile of those challenge pieces that you have and you just have nowhere to put them. Another thing he uses at gear level 6 is the Mark V Nubian Design Tech, which is one of the hair dryers, and then a Mark IV laptop, so it's a bit more of a grind for that one, but at gear 7, he starts using a lot of purple pieces. He requires a lot of purple pieces, just a heads up. He's going to use a Tenacity Disc, the Mark III Hollow Projector, a Mark IV Furnace. You don't see a lot of those very often. Mark VII Electro Binocular, which is that one that gives you the special damage with the special crit rating. I'm sure if you've been leveling up Palpatine, you've seen, you've noticed you need a lot of those to gear up Palpatine. You're going to need quite a few of them to gear up Echo as well. He's also going to need a Mark VIII uh, Hollow Lens which gives him a bit more potency, which is weird, because this guy does not use potency. Um, his EMP grenade does not base off of potency, so you don't have to worry about that. Then he uses a Mark III Oth Othicum med pack, which is more intelligence, health, physical, special damage. And then a Mark VI Hypo Syringe, the agility piece from the challenges. Now at gear 8, he uses another Tenacity Disc. He uses a Mark VII Power Cell, gives him a bit more health and speed, and again, more potency. I'm not sure why they want to throw so much potency on this guy, but, I mean, it's whatever. Then you have the Mark VIII tech pad, you have a Mark III med pack again, and then another Mark VI hypo syringe. They're giving this guy a lot of agility, and which doesn't make much sense. I mean, I guess it helps increase his... Uh, Increases his crit rating, but I mean, beyond that, I'd much rather have him take tactics or strength. And then a Mark V Furnace. Um, you're going to notice between the clones, um, between all these clones, they're going to take a lot of furnaces. 
and they're going to take a lot of stun cuffs. So we'll be covering that a lot more as it goes on. For gear 9, he's going to need two more of the Mark IV droid collars, a Mark III Carbonti, that's the strength piece from the challenges, a Mark V droid collar from the pit, as well as a Mark VII Nubian scanner. Again, more potency for a guy who has no need. And then... There's a very, very interesting piece, the Mark V Carbonti. You do not see many of these very often. You will now with the Mark III um, Back to Gel, the new raid piece from the tank. That's the one that needs 40 of the Mark V um, power cells from Challenges, as well as 40 of the Mark III detonators. You're going to be using this a lot for Palpatine. So, yeah, you're going you're gonna to be using a lot of those pieces. You're going to be farming a lot of those detonators between these two characters. Um, then at gear 10, he's got a Mark VI shield generator, which is going to require 40 of the salvage of the Mark IV laptops. And then a Mark X hollow lens that's 50 salvage. It's one of the new pieces. It gives you, I believe, 10 tactics slash intelligence. It's uh, swgoh.gg still has things marked as intelligence. They will, uh, they'll probably change that at some point. Oh, and by the way, I will be linking um, his character page down in here in the video description. So while I'm going through the gear level, feel free to follow along. Take a look at what's going on there. Um, just, to, just so you can follow along so you can get a visual idea of what go, what he's going to need for this. As For gear 10, he's also going to need a Mark VI Nubian design tech, which is one of the pit... Rancor pieces, that's the agility, the mostly agility with a bit of intelligence thrown in. Let's see, he's going to need another Mark IV droid collar. He's going to need a lot of those droid collars. So, rejoice, you have someone who can use that huge stockpile that you have of them. Then he's going to need a gold Mark VIII biotech implant. That's the strength piece from the challenges, from the new challenges. You're going to need one to get him up to gear 11. And then, he's also going to need a Mark IV Sineer hollow projector. That's one of the new tank raid pieces it gives the gives a small amount of health gives a bit of more physical damage and some armor penetration which is going to be nice for him because he's going to be attacking a lot during the uh during the tank raid with your clone team so anything that can give him more physical damage and armor penetration totally completely worth it now once you have him to gear 11 he's only got four pieces you can use right now he's got a mark 11 blast tech weapon mod it's a plus 75 physical damage Definitely want to get that for him. He's also got the 120 special damage. You can definitely use that as well. Oh, I can craft one. You can also use that. That's going to be big for his EMP grenade. Anything you can get more special damage for him, definitely use it. Also, you need a Mark VI Fusion Furnace. More tactics, more special damage. Increases the damage of his EMP grenade. You definitely want to get that for him so we can use that to help knock down the turrets faster. And then another gold strength piece. These clones. This is a major issue that was with them before the level 85 cap increase. They were very squishy. CG has done a pretty good job addressing that by giving them a lot of health and armor and strength pieces like this and that um, that hollow project, the Mark IV one, that gives health as well. So they've, they've come up a bit in terms of health. Uh, Cody especially, which I'll cover later on with him, he was super squishy back when it was level 80, and they gave him a lot of strength pieces to help raise his, his, uh, his armor and health, and that has definitely helped make him much better. Now, looking at this, you can see he's tactics-based. Health and protection, about 18,000 for each, not too bad. His speed, um, without the speed mods, it's about 130. You're not going to need to worry about his speed too much because you're gonna be, he's going to be assisting so much that there's real no there's no real need to have him going as fast as possible because most of his damage is gonna be coming from the assists anyways. Potency, he has a lot of potency, not sure why they want to throw potency on him so much. I guess that's just CG and the way they uh the way they have issues with getting characters the correct gear. Physical damage, I've thrown a bit more plus uh, offense on him for that. Physical crit chance, uh, as you can see I gave him a lot of crit chance, 30%. That is a lot through mods. Um yeah, you're going to need that for him because the more assists he does, the more damage he does, and the more crits he does on those assists, it's it will definitely add up. I think he is number three on my damage behind fives, and that's because fives has an assist, or excuse me, fives has a double tap, and he gets the increased counter damage. In terms of armor, 
He's all right, 25%. That's modded up, so he's in about 20% armor. So he's still a bit squishy. Um, he will definitely... He will definitely be able to take a couple hits, but he won't be able to take much, which will mean you need some kind of tank if you're going to use him in an arena or anything like that. You're going to need someone he can hide behind. As you can see, special damage. He has quite a bit of special damage. That's why his EMP grenade deals so much. And, I mean, yeah, you can see the special crit chance. I mean, he does a lot. Let's see, resistance. So he's about the same resistance and armor. So, I mean, hide him behind someone. Keep him alive. Now, in terms of mods, so I've got a speed arrow on him, just because speed arrow, I mean, what else are you going to use? Protection. You don't need to worry about protection too much because of Cody. Um, I may th try throwing an offense arrow on him at some point if I had an offense crit damage arrow, which I don't think I do. No, I don't. Not for crit damage. So keep that at speed for now. For his triangle, you want crit chance. You want to get as much crit chance on your clones as possible. So try to get them there. Definitely throw crit chance on him because it's gonna be a lot more crits from his um from his assists, and that will help boost the 212th attack from Cody. Because you can potentially get two echo attacks per 212th attack. So that will definitely help knock down the cooldown in case someone doesn't crit. For cross, he's sitting at protection. I'm going to take a look at that. I'm probably going to end up throwing a um, a cross on him that gives offense. Um, probably one of these. I'll take a look at it more later down the road. I'm still... Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling nice damage with these clones, but I am still in the experimentation phase with them. I still have a lot I'm trying to figure out with them. This is not a team that I've been running for very long. I think I got Cody Zeta two weeks ago. And, yeah, I mean, I've been jacking up their damage over time but i mean there's still so much i'm still trying to figure out with these guys i mean this is not this is not a team a lot of people thought of using so it's just a matter of getting things figured out with them practicing definitely going to want to practice with these guys as much as possible it's just a matter of figuring out the rotations how to maximize your damage with them it's just something you guys have got to work on it's you're not going to come out the gate pulling massive damage numbers it's, it's just something you're going to have to figure out. For circle, protection, of course. Um, let's see. I mean, yeah, you can see. I mean, I've got pretty much crit chance on almost all of his secondary stats. Oh, I don't have it on his triangle. But, I mean, yeah, you can see how much crit chance I'm stacking on this guy. And you just want as much crit chance because you want him as... You want crits as much as possible on his assists. So... Looking at that, um, I've got a crit chance mod set on him, of course. And then I've got a crit damage on him because you want to maximize the damage of his assists. You can throw three sets of crit chance on there. But, I don't know, for me, I kind of I kind of enjoy having the crit damage mod set on there. That's something down the road I may take a look at again, of course. And, again, experimentation. So, I mean, I could throw another crit, another couple crit chance sets on him. I I don't know, because I think the problem is I don't have any more good crit chance mods that have good crit chance secondary stats on them. So, I mean, that's something I'm going to have to look at. Um, there may be something, as I get better mods down the road, I can take a look at and see what I can do. But for now, I'm definitely going to run crit damage and crit chance on him, just to maximize the amount of damage you can get from his assists. Now, in terms of synergy, so... For clones, of course, by the book, that's the max health recovery, which has kind of fallen down the power level for Echo because of the Cody Zeta, because you're getting all that protection back. Outside of Arena, you're never going to see your clones lose all their health and protection that quickly. Uh, you can you can see in some of the harder Guild War or Galactic War fights, but that's it. He's not going to need, you don't need the health regeneration as much. Well, there's also the tank. Yeah, if the tank will focus you down, which has happened a couple times. The tank will focus one guy down with two or three volleys of the exposed. And then, yeah, the health regeneration is nice. But, I mean, outside of that, there's not much health regeneration you need to worry about with clones anymore because they get their protection back. Follow-up, again, it helps to have clones there. It does not ne It's not necessary to have clones to get a good... Um, it will it'll help maximize the assist, but he can you, you can use him outside of outside of a clone team without any problem there. And same with the fire. It's not it's not clone specific. 
So you can use him in any regular team that you have, and you can get all these assists out of him. I remember back in the day with Rancor, I had him on a team of, I want to say Rex, Tebow, Echo, and I think Fives, and I think Qui-Gon, and just to boost the turn meter, and he was pulling second most damage out of everyone. He was still getting a good number of assists. Um, so, yeah, I mean, use him on a team that's not full clones. It's okay to do that. You don't have to worry about losing out too much damage from him. He still does a decent amount. I mean, when I do my... Uh, I'm doing a walkthrough on clones later on in Galactic War. Um, I'll do a narration of that, explain what's going on. You'll be able to see their damage. You'll be able to see how well he does. I mean, you don't have to worry about him not doing much damage outside of clones. His attack will still hit really hard, and that's even without a full clone team. They don't determine how much damage he does per attack, so that's not something you have to worry about. So, yeah, feel free. Use him in any kind of team that you have, and don't don't worry about someone saying, oh, well, you need to use him in a full clone team. You don't have to, trust me. So, yeah, use him wherever you want to. He's definitely one of the clones that has a lot of synergy outside of a clone team. So, yeah, feel free. Use him wherever you want to. Um... Later today, I will try to work on fives next. I'm keeping an eye on my on my guild's raid. We should be having phase two pop here soon, and then I will do a narration of that, and we will go from there. All right, guys? Thanks a ton for listening. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.